For decades, people have been trying to find a way to deal with polymers bonded to different types of materials because they tend to fail when they're subjected to temperature fluctuations. An inherent property of every single material on this planet is the coefficient of thermal expansion. And that's how the material behaves when it's exposed to different temperatures. So most materials, when you heat them, they expand, and when you cool them, they contract. Our material actually does the exact opposite. This molecule actually contracts when you heat it. So when you add some of that to a polymer, it makes the polymer not expand as much and now can behave more like a metal or a ceramic instead of uh, a typical polymer. So what we first do is we decide what polymer we want to modify, and then we do some modeling to see what molecule will work in that polymer. So we design where the functional groups go, and we know from that, from our modeling work, whether or not it's gonna be appropriate for that polymer. Then we make the molecule, and we simply use it like another monomer. So every polymer is made up of monomers. So monomer one, polymer many. And when you add those all together, you get a polymer. So we simply replace some of the monomer with our modified one, and that's how we, we get our product. Really, this is good for any application where you have a polymer that is an intimate contact with another class of material. So something like a metal uh, or a ceramic or a glass. Your cell phone is a really great example of this because it has a lot of different metal and ceramic components in it. And then you have things like the circuit board, which is made up of a polymer reinforced with glass fiber, for instance. So those are all bonded or glued together. And I know a lot of companies actually spend a significant amount of design time designing around thermal expansion mismatch. In fact, one company is called me that whenever their new designs fail, they assume it's due to thermal expansion mismatch and kind of go back and try to address that uh, so they don't have those problems. The polymer has a lot of different uses, or the molecules have a lot of different uses. We can actually functionalize them so they can be compatible with different types of polymers. They can be used in applications like for automotive, for aeronautical, for military, applications in renewable energy. Uh, for instance, we're working on foldable take back sheets that have a reduced coefficient of thermal expansion. Those are actually one of the most likely components of the module to fail. And um, it's due to thermal expansion mismatch from the daily and seasonal temperature fluctuations. Another advantage of this material is that you have design flexibility. So you don't need to add so much filler to deal with the problems associated with thermal expansion. Now you can use those additives for other reasons. Maybe you can put in more UV stabilizer, for example. People are reacting really positively to our discovery. In fact, our first manuscript, one of the reviewers said that it was groundbreaking and pioneering in the field, and they were really excited to see uh, the technology mature.